Spark Books here. Today, I'm going to explain the book, Secrets of Dynamic Communication, by Ken Davis. Take care, enjoy the book, and have a nice day. Secrets of Dynamic Communication explains how to prepare and present a speech effectively. Through the author's own score method, we are guided through the six key components of a successful speech. Subject, central theme, objective, rationale, resources and evaluation. Key idea number one, focus makes a speech powerful. Has a speech given you goosebumps? How did the speaker move you so much? Focus makes a speech powerful. It's easy to fill a speech with facts and data to persuade, but doing so will lose the audience's interest. An author study confirms this. 70% of the 2,000 participants polled couldn't remember the presentation's main points. Even more shocking, 50% of speakers couldn't define their speech's aim and inspiration. Thus, a speech without concentration is ineffective. Effective presentations start with a goal and then add material. How do we pick this goal? Though difficult, we often make such a decision without thinking. Humans have goals. It helps us find food, shelter, and survive. In crafting a speech, our subconscious guides us toward our goals. Awareness of this natural process is key. By pausing to consider our goals, we may use objectives to craft a speech that achieves them. Writing a focused presentation requires focus. Davis's score method breaks speeches down into subject, key theme, objective, justification, resources, and evaluation. Key idea number two, the score method. Pick a topic and primary theme to narrow your speech's focus. Speech writing is overwhelming. How can we begin discussing the ever-changing field of science or the universal topic of love? The initial component of the SCORE method helps us narrow our passion into a speech topic. After choosing a limited topic, our presentation skills increase dramatically. Otherwise, we risk including everything we know about a topic and going off on tangents. This book's earlier draft had too many irrelevant anecdotes. He wanted to teach public speaking. This limited subject helped the author identify relevant facts. It should be specific and fundamental to our communication, meaning, we base every point on a central theme. Thus, our presentation will be a comprehensive story rather than scattered remarks on several topics. Imagine making a scuba diving lecture, it seems manageable. A speech on the underwater hobby's history would take hours and overwhelm your listeners. Instead, choosing how to learn scuba diving as your main focus would allow you to cover all relevant topics in a reasonable time. An excellent presentation starts with a subject and key idea. That was only the warm-up for your next exercise, writing an objective sentence for your speech. Key idea number three, score method. An objective sentence helps you organize your discourse. One-liners for 10-15 minute speeches seem unlikely. Rethink, the goal statement does precisely that and should be carefully constructed. Why? It's your speech's essence, your message's conveyance, and the score method's foundation. Proposition, interrogative inquiry and answer, and key word. Speech propositions are what you want to say. All couples can have a lasting marriage is a strong statement for the audience. Add an interrogative inquiry and answer to show how the idea can be realized. How can couples have a lasting marriage? Is the question, and by avoiding temptations is a possible solution. A vital word concludes. The interrogative response is temptations. As you will show in your speech, this essential word contains all the temptations that should and can be avoided. Your aim sentence is all couples can enjoy a lasting marriage by avoiding temptations. Despite its clumsiness, this sentence is valuable. Our objective statement explains our discourse. Our speech structure is shown. In your marriage speech, you might mention couples stress over having a child. However, your objective statement shows that this is a digression from temptations. While crafting our speech, we may maintain concentration and power by returning to this objective sentence. Key idea number four, score, use rationale, resources, and assessment to build a strong speech. After completing the first three letters of the SCORE method, we reach reasoning, resources, and assessment. If our speech were a house, our progress may be its blueprint. Our subject, key concept, and objective sentence require a solid foundation. Our rationale outlines your speech's argument to convince the audience. These points should flow logically and relate to the core term. Using marriage as an example, we could avoid being unfaithful, selfish, and jealous. The speech's three ideas reinforce each other and are easy to understand. A logical argument doesn't guarantee a good presentation. The speech needs more. Our materials, anecdotes, and jokes make our argument interesting and dynamic. A amusing story about a marriage nearly falling apart due to a minor misunderstanding or a tragic narrative of a couple that broke up due to temptation will prove our speech's point and captivate the audience. Divorce statistics cannot create human interest. 
evaluation concludes the score method. Our rationale and resources alone are not enough. Instead, we must review and reevaluate our speech building choices. Thus, we can fix a flawed rationale or mismatched resources to keep our focus. Key idea number five, write a compelling introduction and ending to finish the speech. The score approach simplifies speech creation. We can get a goosebump inducing speech that stays with the audience for days by taking some additional steps. Thus, opening and closing are crucial. Don't worry that your speech's initial few seconds are crucial. You just need to attract the audience's attention in a creative way before briefly explaining the issue. After this, you'll have won the audience's attention, which will last throughout your speech. Consider the 70% of forgetful audience members from the author's study. A more compelling beginning may have made all the difference. After your speech, you have another chance to impress. Contrary to popular belief, a conclusion is more than a summary. It should restate your views in a way that persuades your audience. How to take this risk? Highlighting your argument's relevance to your audience's life can make a powerful conclusion. Like our last example, encourage people to recall your remarks when dealing with their own challenges, such as marriage and temptations. Thus, your speech will become something your audience revisits as they adopt and apply your message. Key idea number six, time your presentation and benefit. In our busy lives, it may be hard to set aside a lot of time to prepare your speech. Perfecting the objective sentence and weaving an evaluated reasoning with resources are time-consuming score processes. If you don't spend time on your presentation, why should anyone else? The score method works well if correctly used. Prepare and deliver the speech. Score speeches let you break down each section into manageable parts and allocate speaking time. Practicing your presentation will help you gauge its length. Leaving the speech for a week can also help. Returning to your work with a new perspective will surprise you with how quickly you'll spot and rectify faults. Your time apart from your speech may lead to new thoughts that reinforce your main point. If possible, leave it for a week. A week of rewriting is a luxury you and your audience will cherish. Presenting your score speech with style will also please your audience. We've all been bored audiences, so engaging one is scary. Key idea number seven. Use personal stories, body language, and the presentation space to interest your audience. Consider your speech your product. How will you engage your customers? Speeches aren't just performances. Awareness of your audience and message is extremely crucial. Why give teenagers and pensioners the same performance? Audience moods change. After the last speaker told an emotional story, the author had to change his amusing opening. Both situations show that audiences are diverse and that being adaptable and sensitive to their interests helps. Engaging your audience requires speaking to them. Engaging the audience requires awareness of our physical presence. On stage, our voice, expressions, and gestures may make or destroy a speech. The author remembers forgetting to close his fly during many lectures, distracting the audience. Your presentation can also benefit from the room. Lighting, sound, and room layout are crucial. Use each element to highlight you, not the background. In Alaska, one speaker struggled to compete with the gorgeous white environment behind him. You can avoid wasting your speech's hard work by carefully evaluating every aspect of your presentation. Key idea number eight, use comedy to move your audience. After considering the relevance of our physical landscape, let's focus on our speech's emotional landscape. Our discourse may not resonate with everyone. However, by engaging our audience emotionally, we can assure that everyone will engage with our presentation regardless of background or expertise. Our emotional involvement in the discourse should drive this emotional engagement. Our natural emotive language evokes emotions from despair to delight. Empathizing with your audience will make your ideas memorable. Humor enhances a discourse. It's great for introducing fresh ideas. The author uses a businessman who wrote to him after seeing one of his lectures to show how comedy works. The audience member noted that he was dubious at first, but the speaker's lighthearted and entertaining presentation convinced the businessman to join Christianity. Even if you're not witty, humor can change viewer expectations. Even the truth may be humorous when it surprises us, and adding surprise or exaggeration is easy and effective. You now have the skills to create a speech, from choosing a topic to focusing and engaging your audience. By following the author's steps, your concentrated speeches will give the audience and possibly you shivers. Focus is key to speech preparation. You can become a moving and unforgettable public speaker by using the SCORE method and captivating the audience through the physical and emotional landscape of your presentation. To view more content like this, subscribe. Don't forget to like and turn on notifications. The channel really benefits from it. I appreciate you being here.